Welcome back. I hope you have watched all the previous videos and now you know what is a sprite, what is game world and how you can add your custom sprites and sounds into AMS. In this video, we will learn about hand pose gestures and try to move a sprite using our hand gestures. So let's get started. We will start with the two important blocks, game setup and game loop. These two blocks are mandatory for every game. Then we will create our sprite. So I'll click on sprite, click on create sprite and I'm giving it a name ghost. You can give it any name you like. As soon as I create ghost, you can see I have different blocks with the sprite property. So I'll pick up this block and keep it inside my game setup block. Now I don't want this specific sprite image, so I'll upload an image of my own. I'll click on upload button, confirm and I select my sprite. And then I can change the image. Now I'll just play and see how the sprite is looking on my screen. So I click on play button and you can see the sprite is actually uh, taking most of our screen space. So I don't want it to be this much big. So I'll reduce the size. I'll click on sprite. And I'll reduce the scale by set sprite go scale to 50%. And then if I play it again, you can see the sprite size has been reduced. Now I'll give it a name. I'm giving it a name called hand pose test. And I'm saving it. Now our task is to move this sprite using our hand. So to check or detect the hand gestures, we have this block hand detected and get position. So first of all, we use an if block and use this hand detected block. This means that whenever our hand is detected, do something. And what we can do is we can actually change the position of this sprite using our hand. So I'll go to sprite, set sprite position, and then I'll use this block get position of key point wrist. I can choose any point I like. You have 21 points on your hand, but I'm choosing the wrist point. Okay. As soon as I do this, my game is ready to be played or the part of the game is ready to be played. So I click on the play button and you can see. Now I'm able to move this sprite using my hand. The sprite is tracking my hand. Now that you know how to move a sprite using hand gestures, it's time to learn how to move it automatically using code. And in order to do that, we will use this block. We will click on the sprite and pick up change sprite x by zero. This block will continuously change the position of my ghost or my sprite in x direction by this value. So if I choose two and play the game, the sprite will move into the right direction by the value of 2. And you can see the speed is very fast because the position of my sprite keeps on changing by 2 every time. Okay, so by 2 pixels every time. I want it to go very slower. So I will just do this 0 0.1 and I'll restart the game. And now you can see the sprite is moving very slow into the x direction. What if I want to make it go backwards? Currently it is going into the right direction. What if I want to make it go backwards? So I'll just go and type in minus 0 0.1. If I do that, you can see the sprite will be going to move into the backward direction. Okay. So the X is changing by minus 0 0.1 every time. So whatever the value of X, we are subtracting minus 0 0.1 every frame. Okay. That's why it is going into the left direction. Similarly, if I want to make it in Y direction, I can make it go upwards and downwards. So if I play, you can do this. Okay. Now it's a task for you to move it into the top left corner. Okay. So to move it into the top left corner, you have to apply two blocks. This X and Y. Okay, I won't tell you what will be the values of this. Your task is to move the sprite into all four directions. Top left, 
top right bottom left and bottom right corner okay you will use two of these blocks and then create your game okay next is i will delete these two blocks you can see when we were playing the game or when we were using these two blocks my sprite was not stopping until it is going after the screen okay the sprite keeps on going after the screen and keeps on changing its position so i can go beyond the screen and set any position of my sprite but what if i want my sprite to stop at the uh top right or maybe middle right position of the screen okay so if i want my sprite to stop over here into the center right okay right side but center of the screen i want my sprite to stop over here when it moves here what needs to be done i need to do this i will go to sprite and pick up this block move sprite to position so this block will do what this block will do is uh, this block will change the position of the sprite or move the sprite to this position or whatever position we give it into this space okay so i can also manage the speed let's say i want to move the sprite to this position center in y but maximum in width okay so i'll go to world and i'll pick up this block now x needs to be changed which is the world width this is the maximum width so i'll go to this and pick up this block so world width will give us the maximum value of the screen which is 800 pixels okay you can see we are currently on to 790 and this is 800 okay uh, so the sprite will move to the 800 position zero we don't want the sprite to move in y direction so we'll keep it into the center which is half height currently my sprite is taking up the center space which is the half height so i'll keep the y as same but i'll just change the x position and i can increase the speed if i want i'll write down 5 and i'll play the game you can see the sprite is moving and stopping exactly when it is it reaches uh, the right position of the screen okay it is stopping exactly when it reaches the right position of the screen now you must be thinking that why uh, my sprite is not going beyond the screen because the center of the sprite has reached the position that we have given into this block every time the sprite position is changed the position of the center point of the sprite is changed okay so that's why when the center point of the sprite has reached the maximum position of the width it has stopped okay similarly if i want to go backwards so i'll just remove this and uh, write it down at zero because this value is almost zero okay i will yeah this is zero so i will just play it again and you can see now it is moving backwards and stop okay so yeah this is uh, again done and your task is to move into the top right corner or top left corner and make it stop over there okay it's your task it's your job to uh, calculate these numbers what will be the position of those uh, 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 coordinates if you don't want to use this you can directly uh, remove this block and write down some position for example if i want my sprite to move uh 700 somewhere over here okay and maybe over here so y is 376 so i'll write down 376 okay and i'll play it again yeah now you can see the sprite is moving into the bottom almost bottom right okay so now that we know how to move a sprite how to change its position how to move it using two methods and make it stop what if i want to move my sprite uh move my sprite beyond the screen and make it come backward from the another side for example if my sprite is in the center and i want to make it move to the right side and when it reaches the maximum position it comes back from this side how to do that in order to do that what we need to do is we need to actually use the chain sprite x block which will be this block okay and write down the speed as 0.2 and when my sprite will cross this position i will reset its position to this to somewhere over here okay so first of all i'll use an if block if go to sprite and find this yeah this if sprite position x is greater if sprite position x is greater than 
greater than what i can actually give a number i know 800 is maximum width so i can maybe give 800 or i can use this block so get world width this will return 800 so if the x position of my sprite is greater than 800 then what to do change the sprite position set sprite position back to so back to what this will be half height because we want it into the center but i'll either i can write down zero or minus six but let us first check with zero okay whenever this happens i'll increase the speed actually uh to two whenever the sprite will move to this position it will reset its position over here let us check if this is working or not okay yeah you can see now whenever the sprite is moving from uh, across the screen and moving beyond this point this point it is again spawning back over here on the left corner okay if you want to reduce the speed you can just change this number so i'll write down 0 0.5 okay and i'll play it again yeah now you can see whenever it is moving across the screen beyond the screen it is coming back from the another side okay and that is how you can actually uh, do certain things if you want to make your sprite run across the screen and make a game related to that you can do that okay what if i want to also add one sound okay so whenever it is moving around the screen it creates a sound so i'll just upload a tone first uh which will be like power up i'll using this i'll be using this then i'll play this tone and I can make it this is okay and then play and now you can see whenever the sprite is moving beyond the screen it is giving us a sound this sound seems like a score uh, that you are gaining some score so if I want to increase the score how can I do that let's say if i want to increase the score every time my sprite is moving across the screen or around the screen or beyond the screen uh, i can uh, increase the score so first of all we need to create a variable which will be storing the score value okay and i'll be using this block initially we will set the score to zero and i will be also using this block which is set game score to zero okay now when this is done what i can do is i can change the variable every time it is moving beyond the screen i can change the variable by one so set score is equal to score plus one and then again set game score to score now first save it because i don't want to lose my progress and i will play this game now when I play this uh, game, you can see the score will increase whenever the sprite will move beyond the screen. Okay. One, two, three. And that's how you can actually move it across the screen and increase your score. Okay. And that's all for today. In the next video, we will learn how to create a game using our hand gesture and using all those blocks. And we will try to create our first game. Okay, so stay tuned, keep learning and like the video and subscribe to the channel.